Every time that I've tried to start this video, my stomach growls. And now the one time that I'm actually screwing up the start of this video, my stomach doesn't growl. Go figure. So, all right, 2013, it is the year that was. Uh, of course, if it was the year that wasn't, we wouldn't be speaking about it. That brings up a whole other topic that we're not even going to get into. So, I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about is all the stuff that's gone on in the last year for me. Uh, this time last year, I was at home from the hospital recuperating, recovering from having surgery. Uh, for those that are unaware, I did have weight loss surgery, and I really hate the word loss because when you lose something, you try to find it. I don't want to find this again, right? But, uh, you know, the nuts and bolts of it was I uh, had a gallbladder removed had a hernia fixed and had 80% of my stomach taken out. Good times. So uh, do not recommend that uh, for skinny people because it's really unnecessary. But I wasn't skinny. I was fat as hell, man. That's really what it comes down to. I was unhealthy. I was going to die. Dying sucks whenever you're not old enough to die. So, uh, But 2013, I started out the year... Again, recovering, recuperating, uh, getting everything kind of on track for this journey that I was on. Uh, ended up having a few complications in the beginning of the year. Uh, first thing that we started having trouble with was uh, I would just black out because my blood pressure was dropping way too low. Well, come to find out, I had dropped enough weight within a short period of time that I didn't need to be on blood pressure medication anymore. Yay. Um, so after a few times of waking up on the floor, uh, you know, we found out do not take that medication anymore. It's really not necessary. Then continue on through January, start having some other problems. I couldn't eat. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't eat any kind of solid food or anything like that. I could barely drink anything. Uh, it was getting blocked, and I would get sick, and it was disturbingly horrible. Um, eventually, getting to the point where I didn't eat for a couple of weeks, I ended up getting very sick, very weak, and uh, thanks to uh, some good people, my friends, Chris and Elizabeth, uh, they kind of recognized that something wasn't quite right, and forced me to go to the doctor because I am stubborn sometimes. Um, good news, bad news is, good news I went to the doctor. Bad news is I had to be taken to the ER by ambulance because I, um, I basically, I had my body shut down. Um, took a step off my uh, front patio and uh, front porch or whatever we call that thing. It's concrete. I don't know. Um, took a step off. Bam. No control over my legs. I My body was just saying, done. We don't want you no more. Um, severely dehydrated, severely malnourished. And a week later, I get to get out of the hospital. It was a good time. Um, my body was upset with me. And I had to kind of relearn how to walk um had no strength in my legs had to use a walker for a while rushed through my recouping process my recovery process on that and decided i don't need this walker anymore because again i'm stubborn put it to the side start doing my own thing start having issues with my legs again next thing i know i'm landed on my knees and having to use a walker again and relearn how to walk again and it, it, very crazy first half of the year very crazy first half of the year um then as i go through the whole year it really was kind of a year of reinvention for me and not really reinvention it was just kind of try to do something that was not typical for me I'm very much, especially over the last couple of years, very much a homebody. I'd rather stay at home. I'd rather stay inside. 
I used to have a great tan. Um, but over the last couple years, really, I just didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to get outside. I didn't want to do anything. I, I didn't want to deal with out there. Because out there was scary and dangerous. Not really dangerous, but it was not fun for me. Um, but I decided that I couldn't do that. I couldn't live my life that way. So I tried to be a little more outgoing. Um, went to a couple of things at the improv. Um, I even I even did the whole, you know, hey, let's uh, try to go out on a date type thing. And that didn't work out so well. I was shot down more times than a poorly trained fighter pilot. It's very true. Um, it was just rejection after rejection after rejection. And, you know, that really can mess with a person's self-confidence and self-esteem. Um, and that's just kind of how it is, you know. Um, one of the girls that I, I asked out, I actually asked her out a couple of different times. She, very nice girl, very pretty girl. Um, but she's always very busy, so it was either... She is very busy, I know, and it also may have just been that she wanted nothing to do with me, which is okay. I'm not an easy person to be around sometimes. Um, I'm entertaining as hell, but I can also be a little bit moody sometimes, and I can be very difficult because if I get an idea in my head, damn it, that idea's in my head, right? Oh well, so that's... That's how life goes. I did end up, uh, one of my friends ended up hanging out with me. Uh, we went to go see uh, Chris Titus. It was actually very fun. Um, let's see, what else went on in 2013? Um, remodeled my office. That was very nice. You can actually see some of that behind me here. Um, I remodeled the office because I was offered the opportunity to work from home. And then two days after I started working from home, my company that I worked for did um, a whole bunch of uh, layoffs, dismissals, whatever you want to call it. And unfortunately, I was one of those people. So I got to work from home for two days, actually like a day and a half, day and a quarter, maybe. So where originally I budgeted like 300 bucks to do this office, I spent, or about 500 bucks really, uh, I spent about three grand, um, really went over the top on some stuff, didn't need to, but I did, and then I didn't need to use it for what I intended anymore, but that's okay. Opportunities come up from things like that. I had already started working on starting my own company. Um, not because I saw something coming down the pike. I just wanted to do something for myself. I wanted to do something that I love doing. And that's where uh, Rebels, Misfits, and Rejects came into play, also known as RMR Apparel. Um, still working on that. We're uh, getting the first shirts and everything out right now. Uh, hope to have those in the next week or so. Uh, have the hats being embroidered uh, this week or next week. Um few other things and then I'm on my way hopefully um, let's see what else I finally got the garage almost done as I'm recording this right now December 31st 2013 is like five something in the evening and all I have to do now is move shells sweep done it's only taken me 6,000 plus days to finally get the garage cleaned up properly. <laughs> so uh, that's been kind of the, the ongoing joke is that it's an ongoing project that has never actually been finished. Maybe not even fully started yet. But that's okay. I'll live with it. Um, that's really it. You know, as far as the year goes, I want to thank so many people, Chris, Elizabeth, Madeline, all the people that are from the weight loss support team, Dr. Kuhn, Dr. Wynn, so many people have been so helpful for me in 2013, and I cannot wait to see what 2014 brings. You guys have a great year.